Hello, hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's JR Art Lab live stream uh, for Sketch Club. Um, we are going to be sketching and sketch painting. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, today we are going to be studying arms. Now, this should be fun. Um, we should just take it nice and easy. We've got an hour. We can go a little bit over if we need to. And we're going to do a couple of studies of arms. And if you haven't been with us before, welcome. Uh, my name's Shane and um, I'm one of the teachers at JR Art Lab. You can find out more about JR Art Lab at www.jrartlab.com. Um, now, uh, we do all kinds of digital art, uh, so do go and have a little look. If you would like to add more skills to your digital art portfolio or uh, repertoire, I suppose, uh, go and have a look at what's on offer. Um, we do sculpting, uh, script writing, podcasting, um, filmmaking. Um, what else do we do? graphic design, 3D sculpting, um, and we also have private classes and group classes. We teach mainly in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand at the moment, um, but please, if you're interested in learning, get in contact with us. My email will be on the next screen, um, so uh, you can always send me an email or send an email to admin at jrlab.com. Now, if you see me scratching at my hand, I got bitten this week by a, what is it called? A deer fly, I think it was. Could have been a black fly, I'm still working out the difference here. Now, one of the good things about Canada is we don't have, we don't have poisonous snakes where I live. So, I think what we do have is these insane flies. And it bit me on the hand and my hand swelled up like a balloon. Um, so, it was very itchy and for the last 24 hours, I slept with my hand in a bucket. Of cold water it was the only way I could get to sleep and it is still itchy 24 oh, more than 24 hours later so I'm hoping it's going to chill out um, soon but I didn't want to cancel the stream if I stream if I could manage it and I think it's a bit better than it was I'm hoping uh, I will forget about it like we know that uh, our art can sometimes make us forget about things that are causing us anxiety or trouble um, so hopefully this will work for me and um, all right so I'm gonna put the, the link to our reference board in the chat uh, which I always do and you can click on that link now if you have an account you can sign in if you don't have an account I believe you can still view it um, if you have troubles with the audio or the link or something, please message me in the chat. Um, the chat works best in Twitch. So we are live on Twitch, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so if I don't see your message, try and send it to me in the Twitch chat and I'll probably get back to you there. Okay, so we are going to be focusing on... Um, I feel like the music might even be a little bit loud for me. Let me just turn it down a bit. There we go. Okay, um, that went down a little bit too much. I think it was just the song. Okay, so we are going to be focusing on arms and we're gonna have a look at muscles and we're gonna have a look at uh, probably doing a little bit of a value painting. Um, so let me flick over to my other screen and we will get going. So here we have some arms. Um, by the way, my email is up there if you would like to get in contact with me. You can also send your pictures to us if you finish. If you would like to share it with us, um, that would be great. We'd love to see your work. Um, see how you did. Okay, so we're probably going to do a separate day on hands, but I've got a hand in here. Um, we will just put something simple for the hand. I think we want to look at simplified versions of something like this start off with and then move on to something like well that one looks pretty good that one there well, we've got the shoulder and the muscles of the arm very clearly defined um, 
and then we'll probably move on to something like this. Now this this could be an option for number two. We'll see. We sometimes get two, sometimes get three kind of sketches done in our hour. Um, uh, and again, you don't have to focus on the same ones as me, but this is going to be something similar to what we're doing. A little sketch like this, just to think about the arm and the hand um, and the muscles and uh, Attack on Titan Lady is here to help out today. Uh, <laughs> that's very creepy and scary because she's standing in quite a suggestive pose, like a very, like, I don't know. Uh, that feels less creepy. Um, but we've got some men arms and lady arms. Uh, you focus on whatever you like, or you can draw along with me. Um, we'll see what I feel like as I go. But I'm going to be drawing in uh, a, a, an app or a software called Affinity Photo, which is just like Photoshop, but without the monthly required payments. Uh, you pay once and you own it. Now, we're not sponsored, but I do think... Oh, 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 what are we doing? Don't go there. Awesome. Let's go back to Mural. Um, am I signed out now, Mural? What did you do to me? All right, let me put this on my other screen for a second. Um, how's the music, everybody? I like to have something going. Oh, look, we are here. That's good. I like to have something going while I'm painting. Uh, good for the video, good for my brain. Um, so this is, as you can see, Affinity Photo. Um, and we're also not sponsored by Mural, it's just something I use. You can use other things, there's plenty of cool stuff out there, like um, uh, this one here, Pure Ref, very, very cool software, it does the same thing, but offline. This one I like too because it keeps it online, so I can share this and work interactively with whoever is out there, or with my students. Um, so I think we will start with, oh, that one looks good too, eh? That one. How about this one? Very blocky and simplified. Let's do that. Actually, I think I want to see... I think I'm just going to go straight to the muscles rather than the block. Okay. So... Oh, and it is my right drawing hand is the one that is itchy and swollen. It's, it's about 30% less swollen than it was. Um, but we'll see how we go. I'm sure we'll work it out. We'll forget all about it in a minute, hopefully. Okay, so I need a layer, I need a pencil. Now you can also do this in your sketchbook. You don't have to do this as digital. If you like to keep a sketchbook and you want to keep a study of all of your, stop scratching, um, a study of all of your artwork. That's a bit bright, a bit hard, I mean, and a bit big. that brush? I didn't choose brush. Let's see. Kyle's drawing brushes. Okay, we're going to just turn it down a bit. That's better. Lemonade. 
that happens. See if we've got something that has a little bit more for down further. There we go. Joining those two together might have been a bad idea. different pictures this is two different pictures but I feel like this one is closer to what we have it's a rotation
Yes, that's you. Noisy girlies. Noisy Susan. Alright, so I think that's a good start. Let's move over to something with some skin on it. How's everyone doing out there? Which is what I should have done after I started that one. I thought, oh man, why, why? Thank you. 
Okay, I like this one. I'm going to move over to value. And it goes to a different the same layer. So I'm going to go to the brush. Maybe over the holes. Okay, that looks good. actually kind of my preferred way to paint at the moment is to work out work with big shapey value parts you can do lasso you can do this paint it in whatever you and then separate it with the line rather than sketching with a pencil and then coming back and trying to Fill it in, in between your lines, like colouring book stuff. I think it makes a much difference, whatever you are comfortable with. But I do think it's worth a try, if you've never done that before, give it a try. Check what's going on with my tools here.
I really hoped drawing would, and painting would make me forget about my fingers and hands, but it is not. So well. Anybody else out there that's been bitten by one of those uh, black flies or deer flies? Anyone got any good solutions? Oh my goodness, what, what I wouldn't do for a good solution. I think after this I'm going to try baking soda. Apparently if you put a little bit of baking soda... Um, with a little bit of water and I don't have any calamine lotion or anything that's like an anti-itching lotion. I've got aloe vera and I tried that but it doesn't seem to do much and usually aloe vera is like, I don't know how what the concentration of aloe vera is actually. Okay, that looks good. Okay, what are we doing over here? We want to get... Okay, it might be time to switch over to this guy.
break time. So no one out there's got an idea about how we can deal with this uh, bug bites or um, deer flies, I think it's called, or black flies. Oh, it's good. You know what? Sometimes I think this is really interesting. I, When you're streaming or when we're online, if I look at my computer that's in front of me, I see one thing. And when I look over there at the preview of what I'm doing, it's like I get a second... It's like I flipped it. And I've got more, more seeing skill or something. Fresh eyes. That's what I'm looking for. Fresh eyes. Bowl of fresh eyes. No, fresh eyes on my project. And I think that's very useful.
So what's everyone doing this week? Anything exciting happening in your neck of the woods? Or leg of the city? Musica. Let me see what Musica says. I think it does. Open file. All right, I think we might move on to the next one. And we're going to do a la 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 lady. Right. I don't want to get caught up in. Uh, doing too many details in this I just want to I just want to practice looking at body parts and bones oh, sorry body parts and muscles okay that one's pretty good sideways one or a hand out we haven't done a hand out a hand out speaking of handouts if you would like to support the stream there is a button for handouts. Uh, you can also just join one of our classes. Um, something that's very good if you're already an artist, your creative development, um, it's just like a sports coach, right? A sports coach uh, goes with you to the track and meets up with you and calls you and checks out you're doing okay, talks to you about your diet, gives you advice about this or advice about that you know maybe helps you train for an upcoming event I think I put those few on that one layer okay I'm gonna go with another value one I like this because I can see the inside That was a quick song. I think it finished. Uh, I don't think we might. Summer nights. Chill hop music. Very good.
are we doing out there? This might be our last one. And then I'll go and make dinner for the doggos. Do you have dogs? I have two Shebas. And a boy and a girl. And Arya and Norbu. And Arya is a few years younger than Norbu. Um, very interesting dogs. Anybody out there have a Sheba? Very crazy dogs too. They have like really weird personality problems. <laughs> uh, maybe not problems. I would have called them problems. Just uh, quirks. And I have a few other friends that have Shebas and theirs have some kind of interesting Sheba quirks as well. itchy arm. Yeah, it seems to be getting itchier and itchier. Probably because I'm using it a lot while I'm drawing. Okay, so. Brush, brush. This is a good, good track. What's this one called? Summer. Something Endless Summer. Chill hop. Chill hop. Chill hop. dark here. Oh, we're on that background layer again. We'd love to do that, don't we? Look at that. Just messed that up. Probably could have left it there, but... Thank you. 
Right, so it is nine o'clock. If you've got to go, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it was a fun session today. I hope you. Oh, no, eraser. I hope you enjoyed painting some arms and studying those. That's why you weren't working. You were on the layer, didn't you? Cheeky, cheeky. Okay, that'll fix it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you did well with your sketches. And let's have a little look at how we did. So we got five sort of sketches done today. Uh, different kind of angles, poses, thinking about the muscles. Hopefully those muscles stick in our brains and um, over time we do some more of these and then we'll know where they are all the time. And... should take a little bit out between these fingers, eh? A day. Uh, I hope you had fun sketching our arms, our muscles, and skin. Um, if I was, I should have got to. topic we might take a little break from anatomy we might continue on with anatomy um, but if you would like to request a topic um, you can request a topic from uh, any of our social media so Instagram Facebook YouTube you can send us a message my email was there a minute ago it's shane at jrlab.com if you would like to request a topic uh, or study something with us Check out the website www.jrartlab.com um, and have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.